I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 25. Let's focus on verses 27 through 30. On the 27th day of the 12th month of the 37th year of the exile of Judah's king Jehoiachin, evil Moradah, king of Babylon, in the year that he became king, he pardoned king Jehoiachin of Judah, and he released him from prison. He spoke kindly to him and set his throne over the thrones of all the other kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiachin changed his prison clothes, and he dined regularly in the presence of the king of Babylon for the rest of his life. As for his allowance, a regular allowance was given to him by the king, a portion each day for the rest of his life. Anne Moody was a college student in the 1960s who was active in the American Civil Rights Movement in Mississippi. At one time, part of the civil rights strategy involved sending black students to white churches during morning service time. And sometimes policemen were waiting along with the ushers. So it was common for black students to be turned away from white churches. But there was one Episcopal church that they entered where the ushers asked them to sign the guest list and ushered them to their seat. Moody describes her reaction like this. She says, I stood there for a good five minutes before I was able to compose myself. I had never prayed with white people in a white church. The church service was completed without one incident. It was as normal as any church service. However, it was by no means normal to me. When the services were over, the minister invited us to visit again. He said he said it as if he meant it, and I began to have a little hope. You know, it was only the fact that a church didn't turn her away, only the freedom to sit in a worship service with whites, only the convicting earnestness of a minister who invited her back. It really wasn't much at all, but it was enough to give her a glimpse of hope for white America and for black America to someday be one. And that is the impact that Jehoiachin's change of conditions should have on us. We should begin to have a little hope. Even in the midst of God's punishment, God did not completely abandon Judah or the dignity of its king. Matthew chapter 1 lists a noble messianic genealogy from Babylonian exile to Jesus' birth. And it picks up where 2 Kings 25 leaves off. Who would think that any certainty of hope from God could be hidden under this failed, demoralized, and enslaved people? At this time, Israel had lost the land, which is the Abraham promise. They had lost the kingship, the Davidic promise. Read Haggai and Nehemiah and Malachi. Life was hard for the dispersed Jewish people. But precisely during that exile, this darkest, bleakest point of Israel's history, the line of the Messiah is still preserved. And just before Jesus' birth, when the Jewish people were once again trampled and beaten down and teetering between faith and compromise, the sun of righteousness began to blaze, as it were, and Jesus came on the scene. And this all sends a very powerful message to the church in America today. It's not solely our repentance, but also the Lord's stubbornness that brings redemption, which leads to revival. You see, the God of power and fury turned from his fury and Jehoiachin's descendant, Jesus. God dispensed grace and mercy for the sake of his gracious promises in his word. And at the same time, he weighed judgment according to his word. And this should give us more than a little hope. This should give us the ultimate hope because it comes from Jesus. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And if you're being ministered to through the daily teaching of Groundworks Ministries, and you'd like to help us to lead God's people back to the Bible, well then, would you share Groundworks Ministries with other people? 
Tell them about all that the Lord is doing in your life as you're reading the Word and point them back to our website. Also, would you consider donating to Groundworks Ministries today because we need your monthly financial support now more than ever. You know, donating is secure and it's easy at our website, so check us out at groundworksministries.com.